Okay, everybody, we're back, and this is video three of our series on Journey to a Million, where we help the average person get to a million or below Alexa rating. Once you get to that million Alexa rating, that's the top one million websites in the world, you'll start to see consistent traffic, leads, and sales ultimately on your website. So what we're going to be talking about today is how to choose the right domain. And I have DeanEthers.com, I have TalkFusionAffiliate.com, my wife has Christie's Life Lessons, and I have a couple of other domain names that I work, but I want to talk first about the personal brand, and that is DeanEthers.com. If you have your own personal domain, the challenge that you have ultimately is branding that for your specific products that you want to sell. But I want to talk about that for a minute. Dean Etheridge has nothing to do with video marketing, right? And I want to go in just a moment and teach you how to do keyword research that will help you pick the, the best domain that you can to help you get search in and optimized to where uh, Google or the search engine will actually find your website just based simply on a keyword. But let's talk about the personal brand for a moment. Everybody needs their own personal brand. I don't care if you're, uh, and you have your own personal brand now. People know you as being a good golfer, you're a martial artist, you fly kites, uh, you're a skier, you know, water or snow. People know certain things about you. So you have your own personal brand right now. Now, if you're wanting to make this a commercial website, we've got to do things a little bit differently because people might know you as, as what your hobbies are, but they don't exactly know you as a profession. And I hear all the time, you know, I, you know, I'm not that good at anything. I hear mom say that. We talked earlier in the last video about what to blog about. But now I want to start transitioning over how we can actually make money online and how to position ourselves as a personal brand. So Dean Efforts, although it's not, you know, it has nothing to do with video marketing, the hard part is to establish myself as a personal brand if that's what I want to do. I do want to brand myself Dean Etheridge as an attraction marketing mentor. So I'm going to stay the course and I've got to be more active than other people. Now, if you're not that concerned about your own personal name being out there, uh, you can do some things with the domain that will help you identify yourself as a video marketing specialist, for example. Or uh, if you've been in the construction industry, you want people to know, you know, how to, you want to blog about, I talked in the last video about how to order gravel, how to order materials for your company. If somebody's wanting to start a, a you know, a business that helps with remodeling and repairs. So what we're going to be talking about now is how to do uh, Google keyword research. We go to googlekeywordtool.com or we can use Market Samurai. So let's go ahead and dive into that right now. Okay, everybody, we're back and I'm going to be showing you today how I use Google Keyword Tool to help me find a new domain if I'm opening up a new business and, and how this will help you. I want you to understand by the end of this a, a good way to brainstorm and come up with a good domain name that you can keep forever and you know really build traffic around that domain name. You don't want a bunch of hyphens in it, you want it easy to remember. But what I'm gonna do first is go out to Google Keyword Tool and click on that button there. Okay. And I want to look at uh, I'm I'm helping a guy start a new blog for personal defense and fire or surveillance equipment. So Let's just type in personal defense and see if that has any traffic on it. That's just what I'm going to brainstorm for. Because if it has the name personal defense in it, I can see that the competition is low for personal defense. That's good. Okay, and then once you go into uh, personal self-defense, uh, that, that goes to medium, which is kind of strange. But anyway, just lots of different keyword variations on Google Keyword Tool. If I can find a domain name that has a good density for it, that's the one that I want to pick. So I'm going to go out to Market Samurai and just type in something for personal defense. So and see what kind of domain names are available. And Market Samurai is not something that you have to buy. It's $99 for this program, but it's fantastic for, and, and most of your better marketers use this. Uh, but you can do this manually, uh, but this just gives you a lot more detailed information of what is available. So let's look at what domains are available uh, under personal defense. And we're going to be talking about keyword density in a moment. So right now it's searching for domains. Okay. And this right here is a big deal. This density thing. 
the percentage of the domain name comprising the keyword. ePersonal Defense would be a great one to buy. Okay. The other one I want to use is Spy Equipment. So let's go back over to, he's got two websites that he wants to build. And let's go do a search on Spy Equipment and see what kind of traffic is there. High competition, but let's just see what's available in Market Samurai there. So we found that ePersonal Defense has got a keyword or a density rating of 94%. There's other domains that are available here, but let's just type in spy equipment as well. And I like ePersonal Defense to be honest. And eSpyEquipment.com is available as well. So that's got a 92% density. And what's important about that is that helps me optimize for that particular domain so again if we were doing weight loss let's just go look at that weight loss okay I've got 11 million searches on weight loss hot hot topic but if we went back to weight loss I'm gonna have to be more general on that I'm sure because there's just hardly e weight loss spot I mean you know it's not really that great but if it was by Salus or something like that Let's just type in Vysalis if we were wanting to build a Vysalis business. Okay, that's a little bit better. Still, a lot of that is gone. Vysalisspot.com. It's still okay. Key keyword density of 64%. What I want you to understand and gather from this is that this density does matter long term whenever you're trying to build your brand. So, what we're going to do now is just go over to uh, Bluehost. Okay, this is where I have a lot of my hosting and I also use HostGator. Uh, it's $6.95 a month for this, but I want you to see how simple it is that we can set up a blog in just a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna hit Control Panel Login, and I'm gonna log in under this account, and I'm gonna register a new domain. And remember we were gonna get epersonaldefense.com and see if that's available here, and it is. So we want to, we want to add that and hit Next, okay? We want to add the cart and we we'll use the privacy. I agree. And I want to go ahead and add this other one because we're going to be setting those up. Uh, e spy. We're going to go ahead and add these two. And here's another thing too. When we're in here, let's see what the price looks like for three years. That's still $11.95 a year. There's some cheaper plans. Okay, now I've paid for those and I went ahead and did two years on that. So we've got those, we've got those domains picked out and that's that's how we uh, register and do some research and uh, you know the other thing that you can do, for example, I just want to give you an idea of uh, personal defense. If I go out and I type a search for that, okay, and I didn't see what I was, was looking for, I could do a search for that term, uh, self-defense products, I might work off self-defense. And, and these right here, best personal self-defense, stun guns, you know, whatever, or spy equipment. I can search for whatever my keywords is, but the key is that I really want you to understand uh, spy gear, I can use spy gadgets, I can work off those keywords, spy equipment, cell phone, spy tracking devices. The biggest thing I want you to understand is the keyword density and how important that is to gathering or picking out the best domain for you. And the last thing I want to talk about is getting your own personal domain. And so let's go ahead and let's see if uh, Dean Etheridge is available, which I know it's not because I have it. You know, you could put the DeanEtheridge.com. You could do, I've seen Dean Etheridge online. You know, I've seen who is Dean Etheridge. I've seen other people use variations of their own personal brand if you're trying to build your, your own brand. So just play with that and just make sure the biggest thing is when you're going out here and you're choosing your domain name make it a dot com you know it's there's a lot of dot nets people get those and they work and dot orgs it depends on if you're a nonprofit but you know go back up here to number one brainstorm just think about the keywords that are in your that you that are in the industry that you work in and focus on those keywords and try to build your domain name around that niche if you've got a personal brand remember to use variations of your own name and you can also create meet expectations when you're choosing a domain like tribe pros a, a website where people come together as a tribe to help other people syndicate uh, each other's services so i highly recommend tribe pro we'll be talking about that later in the series 
but you want it to be short, easy to spell, company names and brand names. Be careful about uh, who you pick. You know, network marketing companies sometimes are fickle about choosing or putting their names into your domain name, and they've got copyright uh, infringements and protection on that. We talked about personal brand names already. You can also defend your brand with additional extensions like .NET. Sometimes people, if they don't like you, they can put out some negative stuff on a .NET or a .info later on, you know, and uh, that can be damaging to your own personal brand. You can buy up some common misspellings of your brand. Uh, you can get a .mobi, M-O-B-I, mobile domain if you wanted to for your, your website. And avoid the long hyphenated URLs. Used to, that was a keyword thing where you had, you know, uh, penny dash auctions dash business if you had a, a long domain name but I don't recommend those keep it short uh, try again just try to stay away from copyright infringement and the last thing is register your domain names for as long as you can uh, two three five years will help you uh, establish your personal brand and your relationship with the search engine so so that's some of the key things that I do whenever I'm I'm looking for the right domain for my website and I hope you just Take action, go out, do some brainstorming, and I hope that helps you out. So that's how we research and find the best domain for our business or for our personal brand. Either way, uh, you can even build two. We're gonna be talking about building multiple domains later in the series where you have your own personal brand, but you can get another domain and start to market that other domain just as quickly as uh, you know, it might take a few more minutes to post a second blog somewhere else. We're going to be using spinning software if you're interested, but it will help you quickly develop two domains that will help you get traffic on two different websites. And you never know whenever the search engines are going to, it's called the Google slap. If you've done something wrong or they just didn't like something that you did, they can slap you and, and knock you down lower in the rankings. So if you're positioned with two different blogs, it just helps you consistently maintain your traffic. So if you're, it's like putting all your eggs in one basket. Yes, we want to have, you know, if you're a stay-at-home mom, you've got a home-based business, you're not, you don't run the risk of somebody that's a commercial blogger or somebody that's really got a ton of traffic and that's what they do 24 seven. Those aren't the people in jeopardy. But if you're somebody like me that really depends on this as your income stream, it's great to diversify multiple websites to where you know, in the event that something did go wrong in the search engines, you're kind of protected by the another domain. So stay tuned on video four where we're going to be talking about setting up WordPress and the best ways to do that. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody.